What's going on top five scary family and welcome back. Sometimes in horror movies you see something you just wish you hadn't. I mean maybe it's a bit too gory or a bit creepy or maybe disturbing or hell all the above. Sometimes the exact reason you go to a horror movie makes you not want to watch it. It's like a haunted house. Like you pay to go in just to be like Let's get out of here. Like it's so weird. Humans are weird. The best is when you're totally into the movie and then something scary happens that's so pivotal to the plot so you can't look away. It's like a spooky trap. So here to count down five of those scenes that we'd love to watch, I'm Taylor McWaters. You're you. Let's dive in. But before we go on with our list, we have a few words from our sponsor, Lightning Link Casino. Guys, welcome to the best free casino slot game. Lightning Link Casino, the best slot machines you can play for free. I'm talking about casino slot games right from the floors of the amazing Vegas casinos so you can get the real Las Vegas casino game feeling right at your fingertips. Get spinning with our exciting online casino slot machines and win big. We bring you the best selection of Vegas slot games. Like Tiki Fire, you get to watch your big wins erupt into a casino frenzy. Discover your own treasure with our best slot machine, Dolphin Treasure, where you win big while swimming alongside dolphins under a lightning storm. That sounds majestic. If you love playing slots, how about playing anywhere, anytime? That's right guys, Lightning Link Casino brings the fun to your fingertips, being available on both iOS and Android. Just spin to win. Simple. Lightning Link Casino also brings you free Vegas slots plus bonus coins every day in our online casino games. New free slots games always added. Play fruit slot machine games anywhere with huge jackpots with a daily wheel and hourly free slot bonuses. It is a new season and a new mission for Lightning Link players. With a shiny Christmas lobby, enjoy Christmas season reindeer to play Buffalo the Mythic IP where slot players win big. Flip the switch and get charged up for an electrifying new slots game journey with Lightning Link Casino. I love this game. The smooth transitions blended with an easy to use interface makes for a beautiful game. Luckily, I'm not alone. With over 100,000 followers on the Lightning Link Casino Facebook page, the community is growing stronger every day. So download Lightning Link Casino and get 10 million coins if you're a new player. And please support the channel by installing the game. We'll leave the link in the description. And you must be 18 or older to play. Kicking off the list at number five, we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 1974. Oh, okay, so this movie, where to start with this? Okay, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, of course the original back in 1974, is praised as one of the all-time greatest horror films. The first time we see Leatherface in action is when Kurt decides it's a wonderful idea to just waltz into a random house, and this scene is just so disturbing because there's no music, there's no hint that there's an oncoming danger, we don't get a, you know, ch -ch -ch ah thing, there's no shark music, just this big ass dude with a hammer steps into frame and smacks Kirk in the head, causing him to collapse and then have a seizure. Yeah, it is so disturbing, you almost can't believe what you just saw. Like, it comes out of nowhere. I watched this when I was young and I thought to myself, oh, it's old, it came out in the 70s, whatever. They probably had a low budget. It's probably silly. Let's see. Holy shit, okay, so what did we just see? He slams the door like he's excited too. He's like, bam, one down. Now we're eating good tonight, gang. Let's do it. Toby Hooper directed this movie and it's always made me feel weird every time I watch it. It's crazy, like part of me thinks that it's real in a weird way. I guess because it's so old, I don't recognize any of the actors, and the small budget they had to work with it gave it this nice homey feeling when it came to the prop work. And before we go on to number four, guys, if you could go ahead and give us a thumbs up because it helps us out a ton over here at the studio. If we get enough likes by New Year's, they'll let me go home, so, please? Number four, the nun scene. Conjuring 2. Okay, sometimes pop-ups just don't cut it in horror, unless it's The Exorcist and you have these quick images pop up to subconsciously scare you, which is just crazy to think of. But it's the slow ones that really get to you. So, in The Conjuring 2, we get to see this lovely runway walk. This part is arguably the scariest part in the movie, and it's dead silent. We have Lorraine Warren making the same face as us while she watches this shadow seemingly come to life. I mean, the painting alone was enough to send chills down your spine. Now we got a demon coming through it on the other side. That's 
Oh my god, this was the scariest scene that I've ever seen in a movie theater. I mean, it's definitely up there. What gets viewers into the scene the most is I think the first time we see the nun in the hallway moments before. It has a real shining hallway feel, you know, real comforting. So we're not expecting anything loud at this point. We're already in this quiet, shocked state as we watch this unfold in their house. Now this demon, Valak, the nun, did so well in this movie that a prequel was released not long after. I love the universe James Wan is putting together as well. Universal tried to make a monster verse, but that lasted like a month. I don't know, everyone quit or got fired. I don't know what's going on there. But James Wan is doing well so far, so in Wan we trust. Number three, misery. Hobbling. Ah, there's a fun word. The definition of hobbling a person means to crush their bones in their ankles and feet so that they can't walk. A classic torture technique we see in the 1990 Rob Reiner classic, Misery, of course based on the Stephen King novel. Now, it's the tense tale of a famous author, Paul Sheldon, played by James Caan, as he gets kidnapped by superfan Annie Wilkes, played by the amazing Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates picked up an Oscar for her performance in this movie, and for good reason. She absolutely crushes it. She's terrifying. So the hobbling scene is done so well. I mean, the tension is built up, again, quietly. It's this quiet buildup that comes out of nowhere. It's almost like our two leads are whispering back and forth to each other, but that doesn't last long as Annie breaks both of his ankles. So this is right after Andy discovers Paul's been walking around and even takes a knife that he had hidden under the mattress. And she shows the knife to Paul. So we think in our heads, oh, she's gonna cut off his foot like in the book. Because in the book, it was actually way worse, believe it or not. See, originally Stephen King had it so Andy takes an ax to Paul's foot and then cauterizes it with a propane torch. <sighs> But I feel like we've seen stuff like that in Saw. Like, I don't know, it kind of just doesn't last nearly as long in our heads than this awful scene does. Like, I would take a gory scene that's fast over this quiet, slow burn, where both of his ankles are just toast. Like, his feet are just folded in, like a pair of old Uggs. Just, God, give it up. So when fans love the movie, they of course picked up the book afterwards and then enjoyed it more. I mean, because we hear more of Paul's inner voice during this entire nightmare. But the detail that King goes into for the foot cutting part, it's honestly just a must read. And the movie is a must watch for sure. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Get out of that rock you live under and go watch it. It's terrifying. Number two, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. No pain, no gain. Here we go. From the 1988 installment of the classic Dream Slasher series, we get a scene we didn't know we needed. And it's so gross. So we have Debbie, played by Brooke Tice, and she's working out, you know, to try and stay awake. Not a bad idea at all. Instead of relaxing, let's just bench press and get super ripped. I see you, that's a great plan. So then when Freddy comes around, you can just, you know, box him in a couple times. Makes sense. Except this turns out to be a dream all along. Of course. So she thought she could outsmart Robert England. No chance, Debbie. So as she's bench pressing, Freddy appears over her and starts to add a little bit of weight. Like an amount of weight that would cause both of your arms to break and then the bones rip through the skin and it's it's so gross. It's disgusting. All these scenes are so gross. Like looking back at this clip, I laughed at first because like the arms look fake and silly, but it gets worse. It gets really disturbing. That's not the scariest part, weirdly enough. Like they could have stopped there with the arms folding out and I would have been like, great, terrifying. But the scene kept going and we felt more sick. So she sits up and then flops her arms down, which is the worst thing I've ever seen. I guess to, you know, show the audience that they are indeed broken arms. Horrible. And then to make matters worse, she starts to transform into a cockroach. Like new cockroach arms start growing out of where her old arms used to be. And then she of course tries to run away. Whereas if that was me, I would faint. I would have fainted during the workout, probably realistically. These noodle arms ain't shit. So she runs, but Freddy manipulates her surroundings like he does and then poof. She's in a roach motel. So it's getting worse. And then she falls to the ground and tries to get her face out of the sticky glue that's on the ground. And then she gets out of the stickiness, but her face doesn't. Her face peels off. It's there, it's stuck in there. And she's like, Bleh. And then to take the place of the old face, a horrible cockroach face grows instead. And then finally Freddy goes, eh, that's enough. And then squishes the motel with his bare hands. I mean, filming this looked like a hell of a lot of fun. They used a lot of practical effects, of course. 
so I'm sure the uncomfortable look in Debbie's eyes was pretty easy to pull out. And finally, number one, Hereditary. Released in 2018, written and directed by Ari Aster, who is killing the horror game, Hereditary tells the story of a family who's just trying to cope with the death of their grandmother. But then Payman comes in and just messes everybody's lives up, and we'd love to see it. Hereditary is full of many disturbing scenes, brilliantly directed and well thought out scenes, but so disturbing nonetheless. There's this one scene in particular that happens quite early in the film, and it's right after a house party. Spoilers coming up hot if you haven't seen it. It's a pretty new movie, so I'll give you a heads up. So Charlie is very allergic to nuts, so much so that eating some by accident at a party led to her horrible death and it wasn't in the way that you think. So Peter grabs Charlie as she's struggling for air and then takes off driving really fast. He was at the party, he made some bad choices, he wasn't sober, so the panic was really coming out. He's swerving around the road, looking back to make sure she can breathe, it's dark, he's stoned, it's stressful. It's unfortunately a scene that we can't look away from. It is super pivotal to the plot and it gets really disturbing, really fast. So yeah, this is already one of the craziest scenes ever. The theater was so not still at this point. There's a lot of shifting around, a lot of jackets, some zippers moving. The anxiety was real, but the anxiety quickly turned into silent shock when Peter swerves to avoid some roadkill and gets a little too close to a telephone pole. And then it does indeed get much worse. We see him stunned. He doesn't even look back at what just happens. He just drives home quietly, he walks into his house and just lays down and the camera's on his face as the sun comes up and then all we hear is the screams of his mother played by Toni Collette and it's just brutal. It just reminds us how permanent and awful this moment is, especially at a time where someone in the family already died. This is so awful and obviously you see her head on the ground and it's covered in flies and shit, so. Yeah, lovely. Well guys, there you have it. Which of these awful, awful scenes live rent free in your head? There's so many, so of course there's so many to talk about. So drop a comment and let us know your favorites so we can check them out with you this holidays. You know, we'll watch some crazy videos on, during the holidays. Anywho, stay safe and we'll catch you next time. I'm Taylor McWaters, keep being you. Cheers.